Another week at Sneakers Corner. Yes. What the hell? This is the second trip. You're still filming? Yeah, yeah. I was, I'm live. 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 I'm live
So how are you going to pay for the flag? Police the and a little flag causes. Did they uh, did they treat Hatch like this uh, when when they were grabbing her and dragging her to the van? <laughs> she did literally nothing. <laughs> I just 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 throwing it out there, you know. When when Hatun was arrested and frog marched out of here, it wasn't it wasn't uh, it wasn't treated with the same kid gloves. As, and that lady literally did nothing. He, she had a, she was complaining the fact that she had a book stolen from her. And she was the one that's taken to. And how many hours did she spent at the? I think she spent like 20 hours or 17 hours at the police station for doing nothing. <coughs> for, for for having her property stolen. That's what happened to her too. But this gentleman who violently attacked the man, then continued punching him when they were struggling for the. Coloma's here every week still. Sorry? Coloma's still here every week. Yeah, Omar's here every week and he's literally hit a police officer back in the day with his with his case. He's known to use that cane as a weapon all the time. But even in a well whether there's this, you know equal treatment of the citizens in this country, otherwise I'd be worried if the police didn't have any kind of bias or agendas. <laughs> I feel bad, you know, I feel like like you know, the police are not, uh, you know, fair, but, but you know, now seeing the way police treat people here, yeah. <laughs> it restores my confidence in Mr. Sadiq Khan and his Metropolitan Police. <laughs> Knowing that equal rights and equal treatments of citizens is, is upheld. Please <laughs> no. I'm so glad I'm not sarcastic. Otherwise, I'd worry. <laughs> the art of sarcasm is lost <laughs> in this country. Let's see what the chat's saying. <laughs> yes, yes, the he needs to be arrested. Matthew was arrested for far less than that. Of course, he needs to be arrested. He needs to spend another 12 hours at a police station whilst they check all these documents. Except they're asking him, how is he going to pay for the flag? So next I week, heard the next Sunday, he's going to pay for the flag. So there is no. That, that's that's it. That's his punishment. He has to pay twelve ninety nine for an Amazon Israeli flag. <laughs> maybe get it on. Maybe maybe he has to pay extra for prime delivery. <laughs> that's his punishment. <laughs> we'll probably order it from Timu anyway or Ali AliExpress <laughs> to save a few quid. Okay, I give you the card. Oh, thank you. So let's see. Yes, I yes, am. I am actually this news. Things calm down, but there was some shit that went down today, and you missed it. Francis in the chair. Come on, Francis, move your ass. We're waiting. Yeah. I'm done. Yeah, I'm done. Awesome. Yeah, sorry guys, I have a bunch of commentary because it's part of the I don't want to take these personal details. But yeah, we've got we've got uh, the infamous, the man, the myth, the legend, Ralph Shalom. He's here. We, uh, I just saw the big nose of uh, uh, the big nose of London. He's uh, the big nose of Speaker's Corner. Sorry, not the big nose. So, so he's here. We're still talking to this guy. I think this is so cool. I have to take another antihistamine because clearly the first one I did wasn't working. I'm still going. I'm going to do my best. You have a phone number. Take another pill. Phone is extra high today. You see, you see address he's given us, but we need to confirm his phone number. Can you give us your phone number?
And here comes Steve of oh, Southall. The Honourable Steve of Southall. <laughs> he gives some commentary. He nearly got arrested to just yeah, yeah, stop. Yeah, because he sort of stepped in. Steve. Yeah. Steve almost got arrested. <laughs> Actually, yeah, let's... Uh, so Steve, it hold this. it up, hold it up, I want to capture it. So Steve, can you describe to me what you saw happen earlier on? So the black Christian guy was on his ladder lecturing, lecturing, speaking like, like he normally does. Um, I was stood behind him, just watching the crowd, what was going on. I saw this individual approach from behind. Um, and he just looked enraged and he just, like, dived forward grabbed the flag <laughs> not only grabbed the flag you might have thought he just wanted to get the flag down or steal it or run away but no he was trying with all his with all his muscle trying to snap the flag, snap the flag pole. so um so he stood there and, and me and and two or three other people went in to hold him and luckily there was a group of police a few yards over there and but we heard steve saying police 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 Stitches for snitches, apparently. <laughs> but why, why, why do you think that that flag being displayed here is enraging or infuriating so many people? Some people, people to speak as former, who cannot handle the concept of free speech, which I always find incredibly perplexing. That if you're of that nature, the world's a very big place. Britain's a big place. London's a big place. Why of everywhere do you choose to come to Hyde Park, come to Speaker's Corner? You are so easily triggered by a piece of material. Okay, okay. But it's getting the same week after week. I'm currently waiting to try and get an interview with the man. But well, one I hope that won't be possible. So I hope he'll be arrested and taken away. <laughs> or, think... or even if not that thrown out the park and banned from the park for a period of time. Because he's not a stranger to this park. He's a face that I, I recognise from coming out quite a lot. I think what the old Bill's doing at the moment is checking his ID to verify his identity. Is he being forthcoming with that ID? Yes. Once, once, once it, they've done that, I believe they're going to expel him from the park. But hopefully more than for 24 hours. Because we cannot have theft and assault as permissible behaviour in Speaker's Corner or anywhere, to be honest. Mm. So, Uncle Omar is still here. Well, yeah, don't mean that. Don't mean that. Although, to be honest, he, he he's had bans for six months. Yes. He's had bans and he's had criminal convictions for assaults that he's committed here at Speaker's Corner. So the law did deal with him more adequately than I suspect. This but why do you think the law isn't dealing adequately in recent times with people who are getting increasingly more and more and more violent? And they're doing things not just once, week after week after week. Can you explain it's a problem your opinion? we've had at Speaker's Corner for, for the last few years? I, I agree, it's certainly not getting better in recent, in recent weeks and months. Um, individuals that come here and get very easily triggered to the point of physically assaulting people for words that they do not like. And I come back to it again, what the hell are you coming to speak this corner for? If you get so easily offended to the point of violence when you come here and you hear people saying things that you don't agree with. Hmm. Was you surprised last week when you saw the Roman being evicted oh, from the street. Yeah. He see actually that. called a brother a nigger, or some words to that effect. I argue you can really call a person a nigger in this location because it's speaker's corner. <laughs> that's, a, that's a different uh, one. No, it's easy. I, as a black man, have said and will continue to say, I will not be offended by you calling me a nigger here or in here. At well, I mean, what I would say in response to that is whether that is whether that precise scenario is allowed or not allowed. What is important is consistency. You cannot apply stuff like that inconsistently. You cannot say, well, that person has said it, so therefore it's permissible, but that person over there can't say it or says something of a similar. But, but I, I think that. that to me is the, the biggest concern, it's the inconsistency.
an application of policing, which we've seen in London under Sadiq Khan, to be a major, ongoing, increasing problem. The fact that different groups are handled very differently. Let's, and let's be honest, we're talking about Speaker's Corner. There is a group of people here who are handled with kid gloves by the police. They're the Muslim Islamist thugs that come to speak. And why do you think the feds, the old bill, are scared to deal with these? Because I've witnessed it myself. So why do you think they're scared? Because it's the instructions from the bottom. So it's from you... the senior management echelons of the Metropolitan Police Service, who are still under special measures. I mean, how long has the Metropolitan Police been under special measures now? No one's even talking about it now. But they are still under special measures. Yeah, but Steve, which means you are... they are cocking it up. Yeah, but you are talking about it. You are cocking it. You are talking about cocking it up. But let's go back to the previous Metropolitan <coughs> Police Commissioner Chrissy Dick because I'm linking with cock. Yeah. But the point I'm trying to make is that we've now got a new commissioner in force. And I agree with you, but are you saying when it comes, when you, an instruction is coming from the echelons, is it Mark Rowley or is it coming from Sadiq Khan? Well, Sadiq, Sadiq Khan is ultimately the, the senior who is in charge of Metropolitan Police. He is the police and crime commissioner for London. So ultimately, he has to be held responsible for what happened with the Metropolitan Police. But clearly, Mark Rowley. Has, an equal, you know, has a similar level of responsibility for the Mount Police. And the inconsistent policing of demonstrations in London has got significantly worse under Mark Rowley's I'm told. Um, but can I say, Steve, I do not concur with you on this issue, specifically about consistency. And I'll justify why. Yeah. To my knowledge and understanding, the application of the law is based upon how someone receives, yeah, for example, if you call me a nigger, if I receive it in a bad way and if I'm then offended and I then complain to the police, they have a duty to act. Um, However, you're, yeah, yeah, you're, yeah. You're, you're correct there, but that is an aspect of the law that I would criticise <laughs> because, you know, again, there's been legal cases and there's been very senior judge, judges who have said on record there is no law against being offended. Yeah, yeah, the law is used in a number of respects for people that have been in fact, in fact, you know, you can even win with certain degrees of compensation for hurt to feel. I'm not sure that's the right direction of the law should be going. Anyway, it's not a but thank you very much. But am I noticing a new swan? <laughs> Yeah, on Steve. Well, I think I've got to get it trimmed from time to time. Oh, so, so, this so, morning was my turn. So why did you decide to trim your hair today, Steve? Because I thought... Oh, are you getting married or something? I'm getting married in the morning. No, 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 no. I knew it was going to be a hot sunny day. It was getting a bit, um, a bit straggly, so I didn't want to go quite as far as yourself. So why don't you do what I do? What are you shave doing? it all off. I shave it all off. I don't go to no barber shop. I haven't been in over 35 years. I do it myself. Yeah, every every I guess it's day easy when all you need is Yeah, all you need is a <laughs> Anyway, that is really big Excuse me, can you do me a favour? Yeah, no, I just want to walk out the park, then there's what he says out there is following the, the attacker. So we now being escorted out of the park. Yeah. As always. Whoop. 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 Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. The microphone fell off. Once he's at the park. We can talk to him. However, I'm going to get a copyright of the music then. <laughs> That's normal. Sorry. You guys can have your interview then. Quit the children. Why you quit the children? What about the Yemeni children? No, no, we don't talk about Yemen. We talk about Israel. We, we talk about Palestine. But we know. We Why? Know that 
why the Jews they killed their fucking children in Boone today? Why? Why? That's the question. For Christian, for Jews, for any fucking religion. Yeah. Why? If you, you got children right like now, I think care about Hamas your children. Are a terrorist group. No, listen. The no, 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 listen. No, 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 listen. It's not they terrorist. Build a whole city, no, a whole no. Tunnel. Israel is a terrorist. The Gaza. Why do no, they the Jewish is a terrorist. The Jewish is a terrorist. The Jewish is the fucking what? terrorist. So if I say I'm the telling Muslims you, are terrorists, you that terrorist. Islamophobic. You is a terrorist. Okay. You is a terrorist. No, 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 no. Yes, she is a terrorist. No, she is a terrorist. Yes, you. She is a terrorist. How do you kill the fucking children? Listen, why you kill the children? I did not kill anyone. So why you talk to me? Listen, listen with me. Why tell me like listen? Yo, listen. I speak any language. I I speak. You know, I'm a fucking doctor. I'm a doctor. I'm a fucking doctor. Why don't they put their children and women there instead of they use them to kill them? They build. I make the fake bread. I make the phone. I make the camera. And the Hamas families, they don't want. They want to die to be martyred for Allah. Sir, if you look in the camera, sir. Sir, sir, good afternoon. Let me look in the camera. My name is Wendy Dennis. Okay. Mike, and we're live. Yeah, we're sure. Earlier on, yeah, we witnessed you. If you go in front of the camera, sir. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. So I'm giving you an opportunity to. Can you explain what happened earlier on? Of course. No, no, no. You've got a microphone on. You know what happened? Have... Yeah. What this Get the children. Uh, That's why I smack that fucking. I smoke this fucking people. So let, let me explain. To why? That's the question. Why? No. Why you kill the children? If you soldier, come in. Soldier to soldier. Outside the country. But Not the people, the women. Why you kill the fucking women? But Why to kill the old people? The old people, the old old people like so the people move like this one. Shall you kill him? Why? Why? But answer my question. Come forward, sir. Earlier on, same police. I'm ready. You. Shaitan, you, you, Shaitan. This is the evil, devil, the devil. Allah is Shaitan. You are a light shadow. Yo! You don't want to get arrested again. You are smoking. Don't say that again. You're gonna get, you're gonna get, get arrested again. Get away! Get away, fucking bastard. You get away! Move away, you're fucking bastard. You fuck off! Shaitan, fuck off! Move up, Shaitan, fuck off! An fuck off. An angel is here. That malaika is here. Even a shaitan is telling me go. Fuck off, a shaitan. Akbar shaitan has you. And I'm asking you a specific question. I witness you. You tried to snatch. Oh, to snatch. No, 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 let me put no, no, You tried I'm to snatch. I'm not speaking English properly. And, nor do I. Yes. You tried to I'm snatch. Out of <coughs> Why did you the snatch the The original Adam. The original, the creator. You know, Adam is speak Arabic. Adam is my cover. No, I'm but I I speak. record this people from my dick, all of you. I know the life from the fucking beginning. Simply, don't fuck about all of you fucking, you know what I'm saying? You know Habino Qabil? You know the human being is a bastard from the beginning. Habino Qabil, you have the kids of Adam, the creator. You have two kids you mean, um, and two women. Cain and Abel? One man you wanna... Let me finish, 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 two boy and two girls, the children of Adam, the creator, Allah created from the earth, and you and me and all of you go in the earth, after Allah you're gonna take you, get you from the earth, understand, after, no, one second, let me finish, after Adam, you have two kids called Habil and Qabil. I don't give a fuck about any language. That's my language. So Habil and Qabil. Yes, someone you kill him, brother. So why do you not answer my questions? So why? Because someone you like a woman. Sir, I'm giving you a chance. Let me ask, ask the question. I'm giving you a chance. 
please explain to the people watching why you grabbed and tried to rip the flag. Which one? The Israeli flag. Earlier on. Which one? Which flag? <laughs> the flag you tried to... I don't know which one it was, but did you not get up and pull the flag, the flag try to rip it, I, 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 and then people grab hold of you, and then the police come? Is that not what happened? Did the police not invite you... Hold on. Did the police not invite you to the the police not invite you to the Israeli flag? The police not invite you to pay for the no. flag? What's the flag talking about? A flag. This flag, you so got this. It's irrelevant. This is my flag. It's a flag. You fucking dickhead. Who will be your fucking idiot, all of you? No, but you this can call flag. me a fucking dickhead. It yes. Listen, yo. This one is chance. a fucking bin. You put the fucking like this and you put the fucking bin. You tell me your flag. Fuck off and you kill the fucking children. Fuck off. No, but Are you fucking me. can? That's your flag. So, sir. Right now, what? that's your flag. This is my flag here. Peace. What has the police done? Peace, this man feels like Has the police said to you? Oh, no, come, come, come. Peace. Come, come, come. come. Stop you know, Give us that. Has the police said that you can go back? Sir, the microphone. Has the police said you can go back? Have they said you can go back? Fuck at them. Are you there? But listen, thanks a lot, yeah? I've, I've given you a look in there and talk to the people watching. I'm an arsenal fan. It's a dangerous man. Around this land. Thank you. Yeah, man. Yeah, okay. Big up. Big up. Big up. Big up. So, for those of you watching, my name is Wendell Daniel from Street Mind Livestream. And we're coming to you live and direct from the regular Sunday mayhem. So, you're in a better, you're in a better mood now, sir. So listen, I'm going back in there, okay. but you can't you go, go back. You, go. you are banned from speaking school. <laughs> Big up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you think? I'm a real decent. Thank you. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> he got kicked out. <laughs>